Hey there, I'm Allie. Welcome to another HubSpot hack. Today I'm excited to show you some of the changes that are coming to the HubSpot contact area. So in the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a change to the view on how you look at contacts. Now, right now, there's a beta available to some of you. So I'll show you what that looks like. And if not, I'll give you a preview of what's coming in April. So here we go. All right, let's dig into these contacts here. So when I go to a contact screen, I'm just gonna to go to this first one that just came in today. And um, when I look at this now, I've got two columns. I've got here on the left-hand side, the person's name about this contact. We have all of these boxes that allow us to register the contact. If you happen to be a HubSpot partner agency, they've got tickets if you use Service Hub, tracking your deals for this person, attachments, list memberships, again, all of this stuff that lives on the left-hand side. And then on the right hand side, you've got here where we're used to writing notes and then doing all these activities related to a contact. And then again, these different areas where you can sort by the activity on that contact record. So down in the lower left here, you see there is a button for beta. Again, if you don't have this, um, I'm gonna show you what this looks like, but if you do have it, um, you have a chance to go beta. And when I click try beta, that'll allow me to try the beta. But if I wanna opt all of the users, I am an admin user on HubSpot, so I can opt that all my users are opted into the beta, which I'm not going to do just yet. So let's click try beta and see what this looks like. All right, so here we actually are moving into a three column layout and this three column layout here has these arrows pulled in. So now you can see it in its full effect. You have the contact record over here on the left hand side with all of those activities that you would have done before that were lived kind of here in the middle. They're right under this contact now. So I can very quickly go in here and choose an action. And now all of that information about that contact still lives here right under the contact. But then all of those little boxes that followed that, that you had to scroll and scroll and scroll, that's over here on the left hand side. So here you have your deals, your tickets, your attachments, all of that information that you would have had before is here on that right hand side. If you want some more screen space, you can go ahead and let that go to the, to the right. And then still again, filter all of those things here by what you're looking for, whether that's notes, emails, calls, tasks, you name it. So the actions, same as last time, if I wanted to you know, merge this with another contact record, search in Google, view all properties, this hasn't changed. Again, it's just how this looks in the middle of the screen. So HubSpot has released some information saying that this is going to be the new screen going forward if you opt into it and there's gonna be no going back. So right now it's it's a little bit of um, in this kind of sandbox mode. So if I wanna go back, I can just click on uh, go back and leave beta, which I will do that. So this would be what that looks like. And if you wanna go ahead and opt in all those users, again, opt in all users into beta. And that's it, that's the new view coming to HubSpot Contacts. Let me know what you think of it, drop a comment on the video below, or shoot me a note and say, hey, I lost the ability to see this, where might this live? If you want more HubSpot hacks like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.